What's up guys, I'm Sean. Today's video, I'm gonna be removing the Mishimoto radiator from my 2009 BMW 335 and replacing it with the CSF radiator. So here's the performance radiator made for the N54 335 E90 manual transmission. All aluminum upgraded. Um, should be plug and play with these ports. It also has higher capacity as well as their uh, B uh, fin technology for better cooling. So this is what I'm wearing. A quart of OEM coolant, bottle of Redline water wetter, and the rest distilled water. So you want to make sure the engine has cooled or is cold before you get started. First thing is open up the cap of the expansion tank and then we're going to start from the bottom and drain the radiator. Let's start removing the under tray. There's 16 8 millimeter bolts all around. Under tray has been removed. Now we're going to remove the intercooler so we could drain the radiator. And this is a 7 inch VRSF intercooler. It's just 10 millimeter nut on this side and this side. And then screwdriver here, screwdriver here, and then the whole intercooler will drop off. Intercooler has been removed. Now we're going to drain the radiator. I'm currently running a Mishimoto radiator, so it's a 19 millimeter bolt there. But if you're running an OEM one, it should be one right there with a little small screwdriver. Radiator being drained. We're going to remove the Snarko for T20 Torx bit. Pull this out. Now we're going to unhook the fan. There's a clip on each side, squeeze down on it. Then we're going to pop off this spring clip for the expansion tank. Pull this off. It goes down here to the fan. Pull this off the fan. And then I just have to remove this uh, bolt here, and the whole fan should come up. Now the whole fan can be removed. Just have to wiggle it up and out. Fan is out. We're gonna remove the radiator. There's a T20 torch right there. And then there's one on this side. And we're gonna pull off, pull up on this spring clip here. The lower radiator hose, we're gonna pull up. Here's the Mishimoto radiator that I just removed. So I originally upgraded to Mishimoto radiator um, because I was having overheating issues in the track, but it hasn't really worked out for me. So now I'm gonna try this new radiator by CSF. Now we're gonna get ready to install the CSF radiator. Um, this one, you're not gonna use. Um, you're gonna use this, I guess, to tighten where the fan sits and this one and this is also where the fan goes to here. Um, we're going to get the rubber gasket that came from the factory, saw it to the bottom of the radiator, and then we're going to slide the radiator into its spot. It's a tight squeeze, but it fits in there. Just take your time and slowly work it down, and it'll fit. Reinstall. The screw on the top side that holds the radiator to the car, one on that side and one here, and then we're going to install the hoses. And now we're going to mount the fan. So the fan's installed, we tighten this 10 millimeter bolt right there, and the ones on the side holding the, uh, the fan, and then reinstall the connectors and put everything back together. So the top side's done. Before we add coolant and bleed the system, we're gonna install the inner cooler and under tray. Bottom view of the CSF radiator installed. Before you add coolant, make sure that this is a tightened. See how there's nice even flush? This fits really nice. I put a piece of tape here just to hold this gasket on before I install the uh, inner cooler. Inner cooler is installed. Now all we have to do is reinstall the under tray you go to the top, add coolant, and bleed the system. So before you add coolant, remove the bleeder valve. So you start adding fluid until you see it come out of the bleeder valve. And then we're going to stop. So once the coolant starts coming out of the bleeder valve, we're going to close the bleeder valve. Close the expansion tank. 
and then I'm going to go bleed the system. So leave your door open, put the key in the ignition, turn it to accessory two, but the engine not on, turn the fan to high heat, but low setting, hold the gas pedal for about five seconds, and the electric bleeding process should begin. You can hear the electric water pump going right now. So after the electric bleeding stops, open up the expansion tank and see if you need to add fluid. Um, then you're pretty much done. I have a track day coming up next weekend, which is uh, late November. So it's going to be hard to see how the radiator performs, but I'll provide an update during the summer after my summer track days. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.